welcome back from the break. My name is Lauren Vaz, and of course, I'm joined by the fantastic MC, radio host, TV presenter, business lady, woman extraordinaire, and soon to be wife. Yes, I see. Oh my gosh, I should walk around with you <laughs> everywhere. You just introduce me like this. I am Sarah Como, and please make sure that you follow us everywhere at KT and Home on all our pages. We're on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, name it. We are there under KT and Home, and you can find me at Sarah underscore Common everywhere. Yes, at Martha Laura are my social media handles, and of course, we were talking about the Fenty launch, <laughs> which you guys are just not ready to let go. First of all, let's start with the Kenyans on Twitter, who will never have any. Aries, how do you call them? The the pictures. Yeah. Display. But you're you talking, have no, yeah? you have no. It's avatar. Yes. Avatar. You have no image. Guys are just talking. Me, me, I have, I have nothing to say because first of all, me and the fifty other Kenyans who share these black jeans with the blue, white, and red button. But today, please, guys, let's just take several seats and just appreciate that there are guys who are invited to nice things. You know. But for me, what it is, yeah. it's like, did you think about it? Yeah. Like you were going to the Fenty Lounge, you wanted to, you know, be seen that you were there. You're gonna take the pictures. You're gonna buy the product, whatever. Um, me going there. This is now me, Susan. Please come away. We'll feel even sour. <laughs> I, I admire the brand, I admire the person that created the brand, I'm a very big fan of Vivi. So I would make an effort for the event because of that. So I would like look at, at her past looks when she's gone yeah. to events. I would look at other influencers who I like, what they wore to events, how did they present themselves, what kind of makeup did they do. Majority, and I'm not even joking, majority of influencers and musicians who were at that event genuinely looked like they were called at three. Bro. Yeah. I welcome, kuna drinks. Ah, relax, welcome. Like, they just looked like they just rocked up. But that yeah. said, I feel like there's some people who got frack and they actually looked really nice. Yeah. Like, I thought Sharon came, Wangi looked gorgeous. She had this short zebra strapless dress on. She looked fire. I don't know mm. why people gave her so much frack. Not everybody can have the oversized jacket with the mini skirt with the yeah. strap heels. Like, really, not everybody can carry it. If you can carry just the dress and you look good, and it's here's fine. the thing, yeah, you know, like there's, there's, there's no, this, the thing about fashion is it's, it's a form of expression. You express who you are, but then, you know, you express who you are and people just don't like who you are. But you know, Wabosha, if that was you that you're expressing, <laughs> stay at home. <laughs> Peplum! Red pep. I bet. Please. And then she said, her, she cares about makeup. Makeup is what she's more passionate about as opposed yeah, to you, fashion. Yeah, then you take your hair, you take it to the lodge, leave your body at home. What no, would you but mean? also her makeup was flawless, but it wasn't like stunning. You know, you know, like how somebody has a makeup look that you're like, yeah. oh my God. And speaking of which, um, Laura and I were talking about how majority of makeup artists were not invited. Were not at the event. Oh, where was Stephanie Cherono? Oh, actually she was invited. She, she just had work in Juba. Obviously, uh, get your check. Of Don't go to a thing you're not being Big ball in. But there was many other epic, epic makeup oh, yes. artists that weren't invited to the launch. Lavenda, Ikamar is so fantastic. And her video. Okay, so here's my thing. Uh, fashion aside, let's just get to the main topic. Yeah. The event with the people they invited, they really weren't just committed to doing anything about, uh, how do you call it, content creation when it came to the event. To the products, so yeah. So people just wanted to be like, Fenty is the biggest thing happening this year and I was invited. I'm so, there. You know what, let me just show up. I didn't even pay attention to the outfit. The Apparently the thing was Fenty Fresh. So fresh. That was the theme. Yeah, so just fresh. But now most of you didn't look fresh. Yeah. You just look like you were somewhere that you're like, let me just pass by here. Literally. No shower, nothing, just straight. I'm coming from wherever I'm coming from. To eat but and drink and eat. There was the looks that we liked. Yeah, there were definitely looks that people liked. But the thing was, the content creation that people were allegedly supposed to create, people never paid attention to Nothing. that. No one showed us whatever products were being on, yeah. on display. There was none of that. There was nothing about the venue. There was nothing about the whole production thing. I didn't even see Nikita perform. If yeah. anyone snaps. Do you know, no, who, did anybody record that performance, guys? We're genuinely actually trying to see yeah. it. But I completely agree with yeah. you. There was the. Okay, to be fair, it's it's a recent in the sense of I know there's some people who will probably cover it in their vlogs or blogs or something. Yeah. And maybe we'll get a bit of a better picture. But they really did not do the event justice. Especially, we're not just talking, you know, like we're not here just chatting poo poo. You can genuinely go and look at the South African influencers. Yeah. You can look at the Nigerian ones. They lodged in Zambia as well, Ghana, all these places. You can go onto those pages and look at what people yeah. did, the way they photographed themselves with the product, the way they showcase how things are applied. Some of them dressed to match certain things in the product. Others were inspired by... There was just... 
effort kenyans muna ski kitu naitwa effort but chimano thank you because you actually you looked fire the day. you did you so really was also it. one of my favorites i'm not feeling love cute. her she, she, she doesn't make she music. grew on you yeah she grew on me really <laughs> and i feel like she like, takes great pictures same way she grew her behind same way like me it's you know it's fake but it's there it's plus yako it's, yako ni kama kuambiwa i can't explain it but the love is there thank you you know i feel like she's a great person not was, in in like like yeah. you know, content also lady mandy so i thought she looked really really cool she yeah. was styled by gosh i cannot remember who styled her can you her, get, imagine brand babu styled no one there you guys do you live in the same country as i do so that's why I you all looked bad imagine. that explains so much i would spend dollars in euros <laughs> you know to be styled by tell brand babu. babu put what you think you believe will look good on me thanks that's Blind the brief me, that's the brief send me out yeah. the door i believe in you that much Please, guys, next time, give Brand Babu your money. Anyway, we are hoping to see more Fenty events that hopefully of will course. go a lot better. Not just Fenty. And Riri, after you settle down with that shout, Puja Africa. And of course, Kate, the actress, should be the only person approving outfits before anyone leaves the house. Yes. But she did not attend the launch, which she was invited to because she said conflict of interest. She has her yeah. own lip care line that, that she just launched, just launched, House of Humba. I don't really understand the name but you know it's I think it's like from Kikuyu like Kwehuba oh. I think I think that's where it's from because I saw her like like um chatting with somebody and they were laughing on her story and they were speaking in Kikuyu and the other babe was like Kwehuba and mm. so I think the inspiration might be from that but we'll ask her and she'll yeah. tell us one day I feel like I can't wait to see how much more she does she's been doing so well she's been doing great things which is fantastic she's shining I want to see Kate actress really Hey now there's somebody who is shining in all the wrong ways not even shining let me say burning guys revani burnt a whole house an entire house that he constructed for the purpose of burning it yes kenyans when you have low income housing when you are not able to get a job revani alijenga a kichoma for the music video he said he wanted it to look as realistic as possible revani do you know there are very many tanzanian designers who are looking to you you could have paid them cgi is a thing You think Rihanna and Eminem in that burning house you think it was real? Me I am so upset. Also, Never. where is Nema of Tanzania? The way they will not give us peace here. Where is Nema? All those toxins he released into the air burning that house. The way your story with Kasisha. Sada. And don't give that music video views. Let him learn his lesson. Because that's nonsense. Guys, there's levels, man. No. There's levels. No. Because the way they If they Drake is not doing it, you have no reason. Let me tell you. <laughs> These people are big, big. In South Africa, please burn houses, burn no, them, please. burn it them. It was utter nonsense. Do you know how many people are going to follow his example and then? Ah, your story very, very boring. Is your money? Burn, burn anything. This is your. Let me tell you, Tanzanian artists are doing the right thing. Is that is <laughs> what needs to be done? Okay, please. Also, did you see Flacco saying that he made twenty million Kenyan shillings? Not Uganda. Not Zimbabwe, 20 million Kenyan shillings during COVID. Do you believe it? Well, me I think 20 million is a stretch, bro. <sighs> like what I could anganya wase. There's somebody who has joined comedy and I'm not saying you didn't make money. Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying you didn't even make 5 million. But it, it could be possible. Have you 20 seen 20 million? Have you seen a uh, crazy Kenya? Yes, but Crazy Kenya is doing better. Crazy Kenya is not telling us he's making economy. 20 million. Take you so far. It's, it's possible. It's not about taking you far. Okay. Laura, maybe, over maybe. COVID, 20 million Kenyan shillings. COVID billionaires don't make 20 million Kenyan shillings. Where are you making 20 million Kenyan shillings from? See, that's one of the COVID millionaires. <laughs> Please don't kill me. I'm done. I'm done. Me, I just think when people do these things for cloud chasing, they should think about the people that look up to them and believe it's a reality what you're saying. Yeah. It is not a reality what you're saying. Stop lying. That's a lie. Anyway, Vera says she has a Chanel bag she bought for 600,000. Mambo mingi, mambo mingi uko nje lakini ni sawa. Anyway, West Ham defender Kurt Zuma, who you guys might remember there was a viral video of him kicking a cat. <laughs> And it was so serious they were suspended off the football team because apparently his brother was the one recording the video mm. so his brother also lost his place. But he has gotten 180 hours of community service for kicking a cat. Right, that's where you I draw the line. The I see we spill the tea. You call us monkeys on the field, you kill us, but kicking a cat, I, I do not advocate for animal abuse. But really, guys, 
who first of all who, how is your brother recording you doing such a thing of course it's, it's dumb game, but like the recording i think is even dumber than even the actual act anyway also some other very crazy news kcb has officially seized english point marina for a debt yeah. of over five billion can you show us no, it's, it's ironic i was gonna say all those people in mombasa taking pictures going miss mama for landia deni i forget i live in kenya guys this we is have very little time <laughs> left we are gonna wrap up the fenty beauty lot just take took over everything literally the, past the three. whole show <laughs> so uh next week we'll be right here same place same time my name is laura Massa, and of course i am sarah Corbin. keep talking to us keep the conversation going use the hashtag katie and the tea shout out to poise couture for dressing me today yes. i feel super super cute and i'll share more on my socials otherwise we'll see you guys next week with more chai of course ciao